welcome back to my channel. I'm Maddie, and today I'm gonna be doing a Halloween segment because yesterday. And if you haven't watched my Halloween one, and I'm not sure, but I might have done a Christmas one like this. It's where you grab only fidgets that fit with the color themes. So Valentine's Day has only two colors, pink. And I'm just grabbing random ones, for example, pink, this cat is pink, and then red, we counted this as red because the box for the mini fidgets are red, but that does not mean all the mini fidgets are red, but the box is red, so they're considered red, even though they're not really red. So there's like a couple examples. Another example, I'm only doing it. Another example is this heart. Like you could do tie-dye ones too, but they have to have mostly pink. And this one has mostly pink. And then the shimmer ball. Oh my gosh, it has so much glitter in it. I don't think you guys can see in the camera. Well, you can a little. Yeah, it has so much glitter. But like in real life, it's just like water and glitter in a ball. And it's so satisfying. Anyway, so I'm gonna pick out of one of the bottles. I think I'm doing pink first because pink is like so much better. No offense guys, but like pink is so much better. Okay, so we have this color changing glittery um thing. It looks kind of like peach in the camera or like an orange so it's pink and then when you stretch it it turns orange so it's like a color changing monkey noodle and guys i promise it's pink it's not orange i mean peach even though it looks just like my skin color in the camera but honest to god in real life it is pink see pink Orange! Did you see that? Pink. Orange. Literally so cool. Okay, so this was one of our examples, but I'm just going to show it again. So it's this cat, and it has, like, 99% of this whole thing is red and pink, which is perfect for Valentine's Day. The only thing you need to delete is like maybe the frosting and then that. But that's all. Anyways, this cat, besides all that, is super cute and perfect for Valentine's Day. And you could put it on your backpack because it has a keychain. So here it is. It's super easy to squish. I love it. Next up is my girliest poppet. Are you guys ready for a glamour explosion? If there's any boys watching us, look away. This will burn your eyeballs out of your head. It's glittery. It's a crown. It's pink. It has the heart. So, like, you see, like, a normal poppet has the circles that you pop. No, no, no. This one's special. This one has the heart style you pop. So, yeah. It's super girly. Boys, you can look back now. Anyway. This thing is like literally four years old. It's so gross. This is just pure cringe. We need to wash this thing. Ew, there's like... Ew. And it's like, these little things are starting to get yellow. Like, oh my god. We're gonna have to wash this thing in the next, the, the next washing fidgets video. I swear, I've tried to wash this thing like 10 times. 
and it still looks like <laughs> still looks like Albert Einstein's hair. That's the only way I could describe it. Albert Einstein's hair. That's the only way I could describe it right now. Look, if you drew a face on this, you would say, oh, she's holding Albert Einstein with a pink face. Like so. Okay, next is... You saw nothing. And then it's next... Why is it broken? Okay, here's the big secret. It's now it's broken. I tried to pretend like it's not, but it is. Wait, guys. Achoo! Wait, I did it. Achoo! That's so funny. Anyways, it's a pocket ball. Pretend you saw nothing about the nose, dude. And it's a unicorn. Super cute. It even has a little horn. And so it's like these summer colors, kind of. You could pop it. And now, see, I have popped some. You squeeze it and it goes back up. I've wanted one of these for the longest time. Um, and me and Kelly each have one of these. Um, she got like a blue like a galaxy one from her mom and then I got this one. So yeah. Then the next thing we have is these pink ramen noodles. Okay. So guys, if I ever got like a yellow one of these, I would when I when I would babysit so I used to have a yellow one of these. And and it's babysitting and Kelly and a printer by putting um, my yellow one in her bowl like like that in the little tiny bowl and I was like here Kelly here's your food and she was like mm, thank you I love this stuff and she got her food this is that and she, and then she was like like that to it and she looks at me, and she goes, why did you put your fidget in here? And then the fidget that I had like this, like, one day, um, a stretch ball exploded in here, and there was icky, like, the stickiest slime everywhere. But let me tell you, it was so gross. And we had to throw it away because it literally had 99% of it on it. And I didn't take the risk of washing it because I thought it would like clog our drain. And even then, I, we would still have no hopes for the thing. So I just threw it away. Now it's somewhere in the dump. If you guys see a random yellow spaghetti thing was with blue slime on it in the dump. Just know that was from your favorite YouTuber's house. Think about it. If you actually went to every dump um, in the world and just finally found something like this, only yellow with blue slime all over it, and then you would be like, it's a souvenir. My favorite sub. I mean, your favorite YouTuber gave it to me. Anyways, yeah. Because if you watch our videos, you might just be a little I might just be your favorite YouTuber. Anyways, yeah. And then next I have this marble mesh. It's pink and it's super cool. I got this in a pack of greens. Oh my god. And yeah. Anyways, yeah. And then I have 
Okay, so guys, comment down below. Should I consider this a fidget? If you don't know what this thing is, I know it looks like a, like a, it's like a straw type of thing attached to this blade, like, I don't know. And so basically you rub it until it gets all crazy like that. And then you let it go in place. Just like that. So should this be considered a fidget? Comment down below. I'm still considering it as a fidget. And I actually know how to wake one of these. Whoa. So let me tell you. Get out. Wait, I'm gonna stand up so you guys can actually see. Mess, but I'm just gonna go over here. <laughs> so yeah, should this be considered a picture? I think so. Next we have this like this another color changing knife needle that's glittery so it's pink and it turns into purple if you stretch it this is kelly's favorite picture of mine because first of all it's color changer she loves color changing stuff and also it's glittery she loves glittery stuff Kelly doesn't like to wear glittery stuff because she doesn't think it looks good on her. But anything else, like fidget stuff, she loves it glittery. So it's glittery. And it's stretchy. And she likes to stretch stuff a lot. Oh my god, it's literally getting so thin. Dude, it's like thinner than a strand of my hair. Ah, I'm kidding. Oh my god, I just saw a call. I swear, these things are unbreakable. Ow. Anyways, yeah. Then I got a new queen dimple. It's pink. Just, it's pink. Literally, it's pink. 99% of this thing is pink. So, fine. so yeah, I it. I have another dimple, only it's a fidget spinner dimple. And let me show you guys it. Hold on, let me just pop it. Okay, let me show you guys it. So yeah, and then you can also pop it like this. And next up I have this like dog who has a head that feels exactly like the pink ramen noodles and looks exactly like the pink ramen noodles. I got it because I think somebody cut the ramen noodles off and glued them onto his head. And then he has these little eyeballs that pop out of his head. I need some hot Cheetos. I'm crazy. Oh my gosh, this one's perfect for Valentine's Day. It's a heart and then it, it has a lot of pink. It's pink. It's considered pink. And it's a hard. I wish I had one just like that. Only it was tight a red and pink. Anyways, next up I have this Barbie Poppet. So yeah. I'm just gonna pop its head because it's kinda hard to pop from the ponytail at the neck. So I just pop its head. Barbie. Then I have a unicorn one. And anyway, guys, come back for part two.